Turning now to the Congressional District 1 signature scandal we've been tracking. The Rhode Island Board of Elections completed an hours-long review of nomination papers submitted by the Sabina Matos campaign. They're taking a closer look at the signatures on those papers after multiple claims by Rhode Islanders who say their signatures were forged. Anita Buffoni is live outside the Board of Elections with the details. Anita. Well, Shannon, the Board of Elections allowed reporters to view from a distance the uh, review that they are conducting. Although it took them about a handful of hours to complete it, those results will not be made public until Tuesday's Board of Elections meeting. Every one of the 1,200 signatures submitted by the Sabina Matos congressional campaign under scrutiny by workers at the Rhode Island Board of Elections. Multiple claims of forged signatures caused the BOE to conduct the review after the attorney general declined to do so. However, the AG and the state police are conducting a criminal investigation into whether any fraud was committed. During a congressional district one debate on the Bill Bartholomew podcast Thursday, Matos addressed the scandal. I did not need anyone to do anything like this for me, and I never asked for it, and yes, someone lied to me. Matos is referring to at least two campaign workers who are responsible for collecting the signatures in question. It's already uh, proven that my campaign was deceive. Someone lied to me and to my campaign. Matos and her campaign believe she has more than the minimum 500 signatures needed to make the September 5th primary election ballot. Secretary of State Greg Amore tells 12 News, regardless of the outcome of this BOE review, Matos will be on the ballot. Uh, so the ballots are the ballots, uh, and, 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 you know, the news coverage of that will determine uh, what people decide to do. But I, I'm, I'm confident that our local boards of canvassers did a good job and that uh, Lieutenant Governor has sufficient signatures. And Amore went on to tell, tell 12 News that he wishes the Board of Elections conducted this review sooner. Again, the results from that review will be laid out at Tuesday's Board of Elections meeting. Live in Cranston, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Now the latest developments in the signature scandal that has rocked the Congressional District 1 race. The Board of Elections has finished their review of the Sabina Matos campaign nomination papers. They decided to do it amid allegations from several Rhode Islanders that their signatures had been forged. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni was at the Board of Elections for the hours-long review and tells us what happens next. The Rhode Island Board of Elections began their review around 8.30 this morning, finishing up around lunchtime, scrutinizing every single signature submitted by the Matos congressional campaign. The results from that review are expected to be released next week. One by one, workers for the Rhode Island Board of Elections closely reviewing 1,200 signatures on nomination papers for Sabina Matos, the current lieutenant governor now running to replace former Congressman David Cicilline. Earlier this week, the board voted to conduct the review just weeks after they asked the attorney general to do it. But when he declined to do so, the BOE decided to do it themselves. The review comes after claims forged signatures were included on nomination papers submitted by by the Matos campaign. During a Congressional District 1 debate on the Bill Bartholomew podcast Thursday, Matos addressed the scandal. It's already uh, proven that my campaign was deceived. Someone lied to me and to my campaign. Matos was referring to at least two campaign workers who collected many of the signatures in question. I did not need anyone to do anything like this for me and I never asked for it. Her campaign and some members of the Board of Elections have said they are confident Matos has more than the minimum 500 signatures needed to make the September 5th primary election ballot. Secretary of State Greg Amore tells 12 News, regardless of the outcome of this BOE review, Matos will be on the ballot. So the ballots are the ballots, uh, and, and, and you know the news coverage of that will determine uh, what people decide to do. Now the results from that review are expected to be laid out on Tuesday's Board of Elections meeting. The Rhode Island Attorney General and State Police have opened a criminal investigation looking into whether any fraud was committed. In Cranston, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.